So we're up here in beautiful Topanga Canyon, and we were lucky enough for our series finale of Posers to get an interview with Marielle Hemingway. She is an actress, an author, a model, a mother, and an absolutely extraordinary cook, lover of food, lover of animals, and all things yoga. So we are incredibly excited to see what pose she has for us, and what ideas she has for us, and to just learn how yoga has transformed her life. When we came in today, I noticed you had a mat on your deck here, and I was just wondering, do you have a daily practice, or? I do, actually, I get up with the sunrise, and always. And I always get on my mat, you know, I meditate, and then I get on my mat and just move my body just to see where it's going today. Mm -hmm. um, because yoga really, for me, was, was a transition into me learning how to be aware and present in my life. And to be aware and present in my body was the first step in towards towards being aware and present in life. Mm -hmm. And so that's why when I share with people about yoga and my passion for yoga, it's always how, you know, it's not necessarily yoga, but it's yogic attitude. How can you take the practice of being in your body into your life? Because if you're in your body, then you're present, and if you're present, then there are no problems. Mm -hmm. You know, so that, that for me has really been what motivates me to get on my mat, you know, every, every sunrise. So for me, it's just, you know, when I say that I sit on the mat, you know, I, it, it lends itself to whatever practice comes, whether it's a bit of Anusara, it's a bit of this, it's a bit of that, it's a bit of this practice. I incorporate what my body feels like in that moment. And that's really, um, it was a hard discipline to get to. But once I got there, I really feel as though I'm feeding my body. You know, which is going to be different than your practice. And it's the way I feel about the world in general. I feel that everybody is individual. I feel that we are unique expressions of the divine. And by virtue of that, we have our unique way of movement. We have our unique way of eating. We have our un unique way of communicating with others. So I think it's really important to, to know in that moment on your mat that you're incorporating what's right for you. So how do you connect yoga to the kitchen and your love for food? I think of cooking and eating as a ritual, as a spiritual practice. So, you know, and if I start my day with movement and a ritual and a spiritual practice, that thereby being yoga, then when I'm cooking and I'm preparing and I'm chopping or I'm choosing food from a farmer's market and I'm buying locally grown or, or, or organic um, ingredients, it's the same as a posture. It's the same as a breath. It's the same as a movement because I'm doing a mindful practice. I'm becoming aware of what I'm doing when I'm doing it. So therefore, I'm in, in my body and I'm very present. Would you say that this helps you just move through your day? Do you go to it if you have a stressful Absolutely. time? Absolutely. I use I use yoga or rather yogic attitude in everything that I do. If I, you know, if I'm you know, making a film in some strange land and things are, you know, intense or mm -hmm. I feel stress, you know, I, I go to breath. Mm -hmm. I go to breath. I always use movement to get in touch with my breath and to ground me. It's the only way that I know how to ground. How do I, I can get centered, I can get to myself, I can find who I am. And then I feel that connection to the divine or something bigger than me because my connection to God comes through my body. Mm -hmm. It comes through my own expression of breath and when you know breath changes your frequency it rises you into a different dimension and that's what that's what yoga has taught me to do is that I can rise into the better part of myself rather than the, the ego part of myself or the personality or the habits or this or that which I have many and I will right. never give them up <laughs> I'm sure but but it's a it's about a connection to self and that's what, for me, that's what's really important about yoga. How do you connect to self? Because once you connect to self, then you begin to connect to your greater environment, to your children, to your family, to your 
friends, to your coworkers, then to the environment around you, then you become connected to what's important in the world.